Muslim extremists holding three Americans and an Indian-born teacher in Lebanon said today that they had moved the hostages out of Beirut to what are called safe places. This was in response to a U.S. military buildup continuing in the eastern Mediterranean. They also made a new threat to kill the four hostages unless Israel releases 400 Arab prisoners within a week. And that was not the only threat against Americans in Lebanon. Doug Tunnell reports. Along with a new picture of American hostage Terry Anderson, a new threat today from Islamic Jihad. Any American military strike in Lebanon, the communique warned, and the group will eliminate its hostages. It is the same group that Terry Waite set out to meet 12 days ago, and in Damascus today, yet more evidence that hostage negotiator Waite is now a hostage himself. He is kidnapped now. Whatever the real intent of the American fleet, the movement of American battleships both off the coast of Lebanon and into the Persian Gulf has turned up the temperature here almost to the boiling point. There is a rumor of an imminent U.S. military attack. Uh, I think it is serious, but I advise the Americans don't do it. What will happen to the hostages if they do a military action? I think, I think it is the, the quickly way to kill everyone. Another group of kidnappers holding Americans Robert Polehill, Jesse Turner, and Alan Steen have also warned recently against any American military strike. Along with growing fears for their safety, there is also growing despair. I could never leave my husband here in Lebanon. I'm not going anywhere. And in Tehran, another American is now being held captive. Newsman Gerald Saib was one of about 50 reporters invited to Iran for a recent tour of the front. But his apparent arrest in Tehran on Saturday prompted a round of emergency meetings in Washington today. He has not been seized by some mysterious, elusive band of terrorists, but by the government of Iran. I, I believe we have good premonitions as far as uh, this being resolved. Our only concern is... is uh, how Jerry is being treated. The Iranian news agency has reported that an Israeli spy who entered Iran on a false passport disguised as a journalist has been arrested. It is almost as if all across the Middle East now, Western diplomats are waiting for word on Westerners in trouble. There is one common thread. It runs from an increased American military presence in the region to Iran and the new threats against at least nine Americans who are being held against their will. Doug Tunnell, CBS News, Damascus. Still to come on tonight's CBS Evening News, the Justice Department proposes even more changes in the way you get or don't get telephone services, and Australia feels the America's Cup slipping away. <laughs>